pretty nice across the area across the past few days, uh, but this is Wyoming, it's April, you know it's not going to last. As a matter of fact, it's going to be a slap to the face when you see the temperatures and the conditions as we head into the upcoming weekend. Do have some highlights in effect. We did upgrade those uh, washes to warnings across the Bighorn Mountains as well as over here across Casper Mountain. Winter weather advisory is now in effect across the northwestern mountains, Tetons, Yellowstone, also uh, the Azorcas. Still that high wind warning in effect across Sweetwater County as well. If you want to start end times on these, just go to our website right there, weather.gov slash RW. As we look at the main impacts here, central Wyoming mainly a wind event. There will be a little bit of snow here, but that's not going to be the main thing. Strong winds the main story, mainly today across the Wind River Basin as well as Lander. And on Saturday night across the northern areas. Star Valley, Jackson Valley, mainly snow, the maximum impact there Saturday night. And uh, Friday night, the maximum times to see the snow there. Rock Springs, probably the most effective from the wind. It gets some snow showers around on Sunday, but not a big dump of snow expected there both Friday and Saturday during the day. Best chance of seeing snow at the lower elevations with an impact be Buffalo, Casper, as well as I-90, I-25. Starting that Sunday, the maximum impacts there. And this is the temperature change. Now, this is the temp change in temperatures, high temperatures from today till Sunday. This is not going to be the actual temperatures. I know we get confusion on that. Just read the chart right there. High temperature change, not high temperatures. It's not going to be minus 33 in, in Buffalo and KC, but this is a change in te high temperatures from today through Sunday. It could be as much as a 30, 35 degree drought for the biggest droughts here across the eastern portions of the area. Now, we took a look at those wind gusts. You can see uh, strongest winds across the area, southern areas today, wind gusts to 50, 60 miles per hour, but a big swath all the way up to the border here. We see wind gusts to 40, 50 miles per hour this afternoon. And also, we have low humidity, warm temperatures. Fire danger is going to be elevated today, so I wouldn't advise bird doing any outdoor burning today because the wind catches those embers, it could get away from you in a hurry. Now, as we head towards Saturday and the Saturday night, strong winds still here across portions of I 80. These will die off on Sunday. I want you to notice, though, high winds starting to come into this area up here, gusts to 40, 50 miles per hour. This will get even stronger on Sunday. Could we see wind gusts to 50, 60 miles per hour around the Buffalo area, especially after midnight? on Saturday night and the first part of Sunday. Now I'll start taking a look at the snowfall, some probabilistic stuff to start off with. This is the chance of seeing two inches or more. The mountain's just about 100% across the area, but lower elevations where people live, that's where we want the most impact. Pretty good chance across the western valleys, anywhere from about a 75 to 90% chance there. 80% chance around Gasper is pretty good, about 68% around that Buffalo, about two out of three there. 25% around Cuddy. Most other areas are not seeing a great chance of this. Now, as we head toward the chance of six inches or more, see much of the area shrinks back pretty much zero. Even the western valley is less than a 50% chance. Best chance of seeing uh, six inches or more, definitely around Casper, very elevation dependent there, obviously about a one and two chance there, about a 20% chance around Buffalo. And now some ranges of stuff. Now, there's gonna be some pretty big ranges here, so a lot of uncertainty as to how much uh, snow is actually gonna fall out of this. Now, this is the low end. You can see if it stays a little bit warmer, we don't get as much moisture. Just a couple degrees in this situation can make a big difference. Maybe just a coating to an inch across the lower elevations. Very good chance of seeing a foot of snow across the Big Horn. It's also here across the uh, Casper Mountain. That's why we have the warnings in effect there. Now, we bump this up to the likely maximum out of things, get a, just a few degrees colder. Look at the difference there. Casper is the most striking difference. Look, maybe as much as 12. Maybe it's a little loads of coating, so it just depends. Like I said, a couple degrees can make a big difference there, but I think set up right, maybe a foot of new snow in Casper, eight inches around Waltman, maybe up to six in Buffalo. Winter River Basin, not looking at much, about well, an inch or two across this area, maybe one to two across Sweetwater County. Anywhere from about maximum of one to three, maybe four across the Bighorn Basin, easterly flow with this, so coating and Thermopolis doing the best out of this. And the Western Valleys, anywhere from about six to eight inches of things set up right. Look at some of these bright colors over some of the higher elevations of the mountains. Up here around Cloud Peak, also higher elevations of Casper Mountain. Being set up right, could pick up over two feet of new snow by the time this is all said and done. Now the most likely scenario is how much snow we're going to get. Now one thing I want to put in mind, keep in mind, I'll put this down at the bottom here. This is going to be mainly on the grass. Now one of the uncertainties with this storm is the fact that we have a very strong sun now. It's about as strong as it is now as it is during Labor Day. It's been very warm lately. The ground temperatures are warm, so a lot of the, the snow that falls during the day 
might not stick, especially on the roads. The roads just may end up being wet for many areas, unless the snow's really heavy. So this will be the amount on the grass. Even on the grass, maybe not all at once. It may melt on the grass during the heating of the day, especially if the snow becomes light for a time. You see where the heaviest snow is going to fall, western valleys and the lower elevations. Maybe only about two to four inches there. Best chance to see accumulating snow. Casper, about three to four inches. Much better chance as you head south of Wyoming Boulevard down toward Casper Mountain. Less as you head toward downtown. Inch or two along uh, Interstate 25 across Johnson County. Maybe a coating to an inch across portions of Sweetwater County. Coating to an inch across areas of the Wind River Basin, one to two around Dubois. And generally about a coating to an inch across portions of the uh, Bighorn Basin. So you want resources, you want weather, just go to our website right here, weather.gov slash RAW. For road conditions, again, don't call us for the road conditions. Go right to YDOT. You get it right from the source here, wireroad.info if you're on the web. You want to call them on the phone if you're in-state, 511, out-of-state, 188 Wild Road. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy your weekend.